Welcome back everyone. Let's continue the integration of the units path. Now that we have successfully created the line segment, we need to create the position handles for our points, so we can control the line. Let's open the line editor script. It is always a good practice to add comments to make the code more easier to understand. To create a position handle, we will use the position handle method from the handles class. We will pass to it a position and a rotation. We will not rotate the points, so we will set the rotation to the identity. We do the same for P1. Great, now we have the position handles displayed, but still we can't move our points, so let's fix that. First, we start checking when the position is changed, using the begin change check method. We get the new position. Recall and change check to see if the change happened. If true, we set our point to the new position. And don't forget to convert the position back to the local space using the inverse transform point method. We do the same for P1. As you can see, now we can move the points. But Unity doesn't know that we made a change, so we don't have the option to undo our change. Let's fix that. We should mark the objects as changed. To do that, we need to use the record objects method from the undo class. It takes two arguments, the changed object and the name of the change. We will call this change move points. We do the same for the other point. Great, now we can undo our change. This will be the end of this video, see you in the next one.
and don't forget to subscribe and leave your feedback. Thanks for watching.